All right, today I uh, got to repair some threads on my uh, tranny. Uh, it's a little Honda Civic, you know, with a B16 tranny in it. When I bought the car, the, all the tranny bolts are stripped out. Of course, I didn't know about it until I get it home and get it in the car. And now the tranny wants to fall off, uh, off the mount because there's nothing to hold it in. So what do we got to do? We got to repair it. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, what you want to do is get a Healy coil kit uh, for Honda Civics for this uh, for this transmission. Uh, the this is the size right here, the 12 by 1.25. Uh, you get your Healy coils. You get the tool to drop the Healy coils in. You get the tap, and then it tells you what drill bit you need to uh, drill it out. And for here, of course, I can't get it to focus, but it's going to be a 31 by 64. That's the drill bit we need. So, went to the hardware store, picked one up, 31 by 64. Uh, what you're going to do first, you're going to get this into your drill, tighten it up, you're going to go over to the car, you're going to uh, straight down with a little bit of oil or WD-40, you want to drill down the hole. So, you're going to get all the original threads out and you're going to drill that down. So, we're over here at my transmission, all three of my mounting holes were all stripped out. So I had to take off the mount that was on there. I left this one on the side and then uh, I've already drilled out. So you get the drill, like I said, straight up and down. You start slow, a little bit of oil. You're gonna drill all the way through to the bottom of the, of the tranny. You don't wanna go all the way through because it's a closed hole. So as far down as you can get without going through. And then once you're done, you're gonna pull it out and you should have a hole that looks something like that. It's just nice and bare inside and all the threads are gone. Then next step in the kit is gonna be to run the tap through there. So you have your tap. All right, so like I said, next thing you wanna do is uh, run a tap through there. What I'm gonna do, lube up the tap just a little bit with some WD-40 and lube up the hole. Just like so. And then you want your tap to be on there nice and square. And then you're just gonna run your tap through. And you wanna make sure that you are completely straight up and down because this is what's gonna set the tone for the repair. So it may be a little hard for you to start at first. Once you get it in the groove, it goes relatively easy after that. So now my tap has been seated, and now I'm just cutting threads for the Healy coil to go in. And I'm going to go all the way down until it, I know it's hit bottom. And you don't have to worry about going through the tranny because the drill bit is probably the only thing that's going to go all the way through. This tap will stop. Alright, so finally, it looks like I hit the bottom. It's getting the hard to screw down now what I'm gonna do is back it out and then we're gonna look at the threads that I just cut all right and now you can see all the the extra metal that's coming off of there and that's why you want to put some WD-40 or some kind of grease down there so you can pull out some of these threads when it comes out. That way it sticks to your tool and not uh, all of it, everything into the hole. So these are the threads I cut. You can see them very nice with the camera with focus, but you can really see those right there. Nice new threads cut and that's only for the Healy coil. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this out. All right, so we had our drill bit. We drilled out our old threads. We got our tap from the Healy coil kit. We tapped in our new threads. Now it's time to put in the Healy coil. So with the kit, like I said, you're gonna use this tool. This came with the kit. Okay, this runs a Healy coil down in there. It has a, a edge on it. See if I can get that in focus there. Yeah, well, it has an edge on it to uh, catch the coil from the Healy coil. So go ahead and screw it down. So. Here's that spot right there where this tool will actually catch in there and you keep going until it's right there. And that holds the pressure on the Healy coil. 
you can see how it stretches because it's holding pressure and that's what's going to drive it down into those new threads you made. Okay, and at the end, you're actually going to take this part and you're going to cut it off. You can use the flathead screwdriver and hammer. You just give it one good tap, it'll break off, retrieve it, throw it away, and you're good to go. So, this is going to go in here like that. And then this actually slides down in there. And that's how you're going to start your tool. These have threads on the end. And you're going to screw it down until you get onto the outside. But before we do that, uh, something I like to do is going to be to put a little bit of thread sealer on there. Okay, so before I get everything mounted in there, what I like to do is put a little bit of uh, Loctite on there. This is at a 275 red. This works really good. All you need is just a little bit. It will ensure that uh, the coil will not back itself out when you go to uh, when you go to remove that bolt multiple times. It'll lock that in there, and you actually uh, it, it'll it'll just help the repair. So I got a little bit of it on there. That's all you need, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. And then we're going to slide that into the tool. And then, like I said, there's already threads at the end, so we're going to just start moving it along and threading it in there. Then we're going to take it back over to the car and get started. All right, so we're back at the car. We got the Healy coil in. What I'm going to do is thread it past the opening about two coils. Got one, and I got two. So about two of them sticking out, and then we're gonna put it down in the hole, okay? Then you're gonna thread it by hand first. Get it to seat on there, and you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure kick back because it's, it is a spring. So you wanna just maintain constant pressure down there. And then also, uh, I'm gonna use a wrench to hold down this part. We can keep it nice and straight, and then we're going to put a ratchet on the top of that and start screwing it down nice and easy. This is the part that you don't want to mess up. Then I also have to put my hand in here to hold uh, the, the threads because, like I said, there's going to be a little bit of spring back. So you want to hold it because every time you let go of the ratchet, it's going to want to move uh, back to the loosening side. So you want to hold that with your finger the pressure. Then you just start going in nice and slow and you'll feel when it when it's threading on there. Alright, finally got it all the way down in the hole. Now I can feel uh, there's no more spring action. So now I know I'm close to the end of the threads. Okay, still gonna make it just a little more than hound tight. Okay, we got it on there. We don't wanna, you know, put it on as hard as we can because you're just gonna strip something else out. So a little more than hand tight. Take your tools off. This will not come off until you unscrew this, okay? So then you're gonna wanna unscrew You're gonna back that out all the way. All right, so we got that out. Then this part's gonna come out. Then you should be able to see that we have a Healy coil down in there, okay? And then you still have that little lip. What we're gonna do is just break that lip off. All right, so I knocked that out. And then what we're going to do is let's check our repair. I got the screw that was supposed to go in there. And then we'll just put it in here and see how it threads in there. Should be just like butter. Feel just like new. There we go. That one is actually it's all the way in there. It's ready to go. This is going to be just as good as how it left the factory. And that's how you do a helicoil repair.